Hello everyone, Josh from Adrenal Labs here, and in this video I'm going to be going over the Waveguide Delay Module in Alto. The Waveguide Delay Module is located in the bottom center of Alto here. And for those of you who are not aware, delay is a time-based effect that creates an echo of the sound. And it sounds like this. If I turn it all the way off, this is the sound without delay and this is with full delay. And this particular delay module is very interesting and I think can be used to create some pretty amazing sounds, so let's get into it. The first parameter we have here is the input, and the input is the amount of the signal from the gate being sent to the waveguide delay module. So it is essentially the amount of delay in the patch. Peak frequency and peak gain allow you to boost or reduce a specific aspect or a specific section of a frequency spectrum. You select the, fre select the frequency you want here, this is in hertz, and then you boost it or reduce it in decibels with the gain. So if I want to boost 1584 by 3 decibels, then I can do that here. The next parameter is feedback, and feedback is the amount of delay being sent back through the waveguide delay module, and it creates what is known as a feedback loop. It can also be thought of as the length of the delay, or how long the sound will be repeating for. So if you turn it up, it'll last for a long time. Whereas if you have it all the way down, it will only delay once. And fe uh, feedback can be potentially dangerous for your ears, so I would be very careful when playing with this parameter. If you turn it all the way up, uh, you can create some pretty gnarly feedback sounds. We've all heard feedback loops live, and you can make them with synthesizers too, so be careful. Next we have drive here. And drive is the amount of distortion that is added to the feedback loop. And together with the feedback, these can, it can create a pretty gnarly sound. So with these two parameters in particular, uh, be careful when you're turning them up to their upper reaches. I'll demonstrate a slightly painful sound here. It can be pretty gnarly. The last thing here is frequency. And this is the rate of the delay or the delay time in Hertz. It jumps from rhythmic meter to meter or rhythmic point to point. So this is like whole notes and then half notes and so on and so on. And if you want to pick a point in the middle, simply shift click and then you can specify that there. So a slow delay would sound like this. very slow sound, and a faster one sounds like this. And when you get up to the very fast ones, you can hardly hear them, because they come in so fast. And the last thing in the waveguide delay module is your output levels. And this is the output of the wet signal, or the signal that's been affected by the delay, and the dry signal is the signal that has not been affected by the delay. And to demonstrate the power of the waveguide delay module, I'm gonna open up a patch I like here, which is under Alto Pads, and it's called Delayed Ghosts. There's a type of delay effect coming from the envelope two repeating and being delayed, but the waveguide delay itself is also adding a cool ethereal effect to this patch. Let's listen to it now. <laughs> It's creating that really legato, spaced out type of pad here. And that's just one example of how you can use the waveguide delay module in Alto. Thanks so much for watching everyone.